points A and B lie on a circle with radius 1 and arc AB has length pi over 3. What fraction of the circumference of the circle is the length of arc AB? Now to solve for the circumference of the circle, we use this formula C equals 2 pi R, where R is the radius. And it's given here that the radius of the circle is equal to 1. Now if this is our circle, this is the center of the circle, and this is the radius, which is equal to 1. And these are points A and B. So this is arc AB, which is just equal to our central angle here. Now let's solve for the fraction of the circumference of the circle, uh, the fraction of the length of arc AB to the circumference of the circle. So let's solve for the circumference of the circle first. So this is 2 pi times the radius, which is 1. So the circumference is just equal to 2 pi. Then we're given here that the length of AB is just equal to pi over 3. So that is arc AB is to the circumference of the circle. So this is just pi over 3 over 2 pi, which is just equal to pi over 3 times 1 over 2 pi. Then pi cancels out, so this is just equal to 1 over 6. Therefore, the fraction of the circumference of the circle to the length of arc AB or the length of arc AB to the circumference of the circle is equal to 1 over 6. Which expression is equivalent to 2x squared minus 4 minus negative 3x squared plus 2x minus 7? Now we have to distribute the negative sign to the expression inside the parenthesis first. And then we combine like terms, then simplify. So this would be 2x squared minus 4 minus negative times negative is plus 3x squared minus 2x plus 7. Then combining like terms, 2x squared and 3x squared goes together so this would be 2x squared plus 3x squared and then minus 2x negative 4x and positive 7 goes together so 2x squared plus 3x is 5x squared minus 2x plus 3 therefore I answer here is letter A Which of the following inequalities is equivalent to the inequality above? So we're given this inequality here. Um, they're all divisible by 3, so we can divide both sides by 3. So this is 6x minus 9y greater than 12 divided by 3. So this would become 2x minus 3y greater than 4 and okay we have 2x minus 3y greater than 4 here in our choices so our answer is letter b now we're given this system of equations here we just have to solve for the values of x and y, which is the solution to this system of equations. Um, we need to eliminate one variable here to solve the other variable first. So the easiest thing to do is to eliminate y by adding the two equations. So this would be 7x plus 3y equals 8 plus 6x minus 3y equals 5. So 7x plus 6x is just 13x, and this cancels out. Then 8 plus 5 is 13. And then we divide both sides by 13. We get 
x equals 1. So the value of our x is equal to 1. Now we need to solve for the value of y. We can choose either of the two equations here. And then we plug in the value of x to solve for y. So let's choose the first equation, 7x plus 3y equals 8. So plugging in the value of x, that would be 7 times 1 plus 3y equals 8. So this is 7 plus 3y equals 8. Then subtracting 7 from both sides, this would give us 3y equals 8 minus 7 is 1 divided by 3. So y is equal to 1 third. Now we already have the values of x and y, and we can solve for x minus y. So x minus y is just equal to 1 minus 1 third. And 1 minus 1 third is just equal to 2 thirds. So the answer here is letter B. Which of the following equations relates Y to X for the values in the table above? Okay, from the table here, we can check that the value of Y increases increases by 14 over 4 e, as the value of x increases by 1 so if we check the difference here between two values of y so the difference is constant which is equal to 14 over 4 so it follows that uh, the simplest equation for this is relating to y to x, and it is linear. So our slope here is just 14 over 4 or 7 over 2. Actually, you can choose uh, two points from the table, and you can solve the slope by using this formula y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1 and you can get the same answer which is 7 over 2. Therefore the equation of our line is just equal to a in this form y equals mx plus b y equals 7 over 2 x plus b. So we don't have our y intercept um, b yet so we can choose any any points from the table and we can plug into the values of x and y here to find to solve for the y intercept b so let's choose point 1 11 4 so that is 11 over 4 equals 7 over 2 times 1 plus b so this is just 11 over 4 equals 7 over 2 plus b and subtracting 7 over 2 from both sides okay, this cancels out so we have 11 over 4 minus 7 over 2 equals b so we're getting the LCD this would give us an answer of negative 3 over 4. So our y-intercept is just equal to negative 3 over 4. Therefore, the equation of the line is just y equals 7 over 2x minus 3 over 4. So the answer here is letter D. What is the sum of the solutions to x minus 6 times x plus 0.7 equals 0? Now to solve for, to get the sum of the solutions, which are the values of, um, the sum of the values of x here, we need to solve for the values of x first. 
using the zero product property, we can equate each of the expressions here to zero. So that would be x minus 6 equals zero. And then adding 6 to both sides. So x is equal to 6. And the other x is just x plus 0.7 equals zero. Um, subtracting 0.7 from both sides. So x here is equal to negative 0.7. So the sum would just be 6 plus negative 0.7 or just 6 minus 0.7. So this is just equal to 5.3. So the answer here is letter C. 5.3